Welcome to the studio, it's Froyal here. Thanks for joining me, it's going to be so much fun. <laughs> right, we're jumping straight into it today. <laughs> and we're creating a beautiful black and white mixed media collage on canvas. It turned out absolutely glorious and I can't wait to show you. Now, if you joined me for my first music episode, you would have seen the glorious new rice papers I've just launched with joggles.com. They're absolutely beautiful. I love them. They're so gloriously textured. They're made in Italy, fade resistant archival i mean seriously it doesn't get much better than that look at the fabulous texture <laughs> so in the first video i created with these two glorious colors and the painting had a little bit of a glitch but we got there in the end and it turned out amazing today we're going to work with black and white i love black and white i love the drama and the contrast i'm going to pull out some other textured papers and let's see what we can create with these beautiful music themed textures right so i'm working on a 30 by 30 or 12 inch canvas because i was cleaning out the garage and i found a box of them <laughs> they're absolutely fabulous they're a great size they're also a good size to post so if you're looking for beautiful original artwork check out my online gallery you might find something beautiful that you just have to have right so i've got my glorious rice papers and some of my favorite textured papers so that's going to work and i pulled out one of these prints now this is my glorious mask from pm artist studio this one here that i printed onto this black hmm, cardstock by the look of it and that's just with white paint easy peasy lemon squeezy i also like to put it on black tissue like ordinary tissue like dollar store tissue because that looks really effective with the black and white as well this is a really important script to me it's a poem that i wrote for myself years ago when i was struggling and i've just recently turned it into a fabulous mask with pm artist studio it's very deep and meaningful you can't probably read it like that and that's the point it's a whole lot of fun in the script format but it does have a beautiful meaning and while i stick all of these background papers on i think you should watch it and let me share it with you dream big there's nobody like you you are unique one of a kind irreplaceable, beautiful. Cherish who you are. Love out loud and allow yourself to shine. Be kind, generous and know that you are loved. Darling, you are a work of art. What I love about this particular text is that it's got a fantastic movement and texture to it and you can't really tell what it says, but it's very deep and meaningful. <laughs> and I just love that. It's so very me. But if you're working with music, you could also put lyrics into your collage. You can write them out yourself or you can use a paint pen or a fine tip applicator bottle. I mean, there's so many ways you can put text or script into your collage. You can type the lyrics out on your computer and turn them into a fancy font like this. It's absolutely fabulous. It's limitless what you can do. You just have to try different ideas, allow yourself to create, even if it doesn't work. Hello, we all have those days. <laughs> so I'm going to put my fabulous cello on that side. I'm just going to rip it so that it's not so stiff. And then I'm going to add some of my beautiful script paper and some of my favorite textured papers as well right so i'm going to put this bit over the edge like that it's going to come down like there i think i should rip it like this see how easy it tears man i love this rice paper it's just glorious and it feels so good in your hands i think i just like the tactile quality of the texture yes i'm going to put that there then i'm going to add some of this fabulous piece here on the black cardstock hmm maybe like that let's trim a bit more of it off we don't want to cover our fabulous rice paper too much 
Maybe like that. It doesn't have to be straight, right? We could add some in like that. That's gonna work, something like that. Yeah, I'm liking that. That's pretty dramatic. <laughs> That's so unlike me. <laughs> then I might put some more down the bottom here. Oh man, I just love the shape and the lines, the scribbly lines that this particular mask creates. Yes, I love it. So in 2004, an Australian singer-songwriter, Missy Higgins, released her debut album, The Sound of White. And I was absolutely fascinated both by the concept and the beautiful music that she released with this album. It's got a fabulous piano track through it and it's just a glorious melody. But also, what is the sound of white? If white light is the accumulation of all the colors in the prism on the spectrum, then what would be the sound of white? Would it be a symphony? Like, I don't, what do you mean this is too deep? This is, this is awesome. I created a whole heap of paintings, piano tracks <laughs> from this inspiration and concept of the sound of white. I had a glorious time. This is like 2004 and 2005. I know that's a fair few years ago, but I had a really good time with this concept. <laughs> I mean, the lyrics are beautiful in her song, but it does make me think more deeply about what would be the sound of white. Right, I think we said we're gonna put that there. I added another piece down here because I wanted to fill in some gaps. <laughs> anyway, I loved the album, I loved the concept, I loved the paintings that I created from the inspiration. I mean, really, it can take you anywhere because music is so deeply felt in your heart or your soul. So when you combine that with the visual expression of creating art, oh man, it's endless where you can go and the tunnels that it can lead you down. Yeah, I think I like this piece over here. So really creating Paintings based on music or inspired by music can really look like anything. There isn't one way to rule them all, like everything in art. It's personal preference. What's going to inspire you may not inspire me and vice versa. You may not be inspired by the sound of white. <laughs> I don't know how you couldn't, but you might be. That looks pretty cool, but oopsies, I've got some holes under there. We'll have to do something about that. Maybe we'll put on some of the Agura lace. No, because that's got holes in it too. Oh man, <laughs> I better get another piece for under there before it dries, right? I mean, music can take you away. It can take you to another place. It can relax you and heal you. And combining that with your creative expression can really be extremely powerful. So what music do you like to listen to? What do you think it would actually look like in a physical representation? Using up some scraps here, it's working well. It's working well. We're working well. Righto, righto. It does make you think about what different colours would actually look like because colours have a frequency. You know, like sound has a frequency. Well, each colour has a different wavelength and frequency. So... I don't know, man, what would the sound of white look like? <laughs> anyway, way too scientific for me. I go by how it makes me feel, how an album makes me feel or how a sound or an instrument or music. And then I choose colors according to how that particular uh, music or instrument makes me actually feel about it you know it's my I'm not so scientific but I know there are people that are scientific and have worked out the different scientific color spectrums and what each wavelength and frequency of the color uh, would sound like or vice versa what different sound frequencies, what color they would be. You can get really scientific about it all. But for me, I'm more of an abstract expressionist. It's really about how it makes me feel. So the sound of white was just something so incredibly fascinating. Painted a whole heap 
of canvases and painted on the concept. And that's where these particular rice papers come from, those paintings in 2004 and five that I was playing with. They have their beautiful notes on them and the piano keys because, you know, it was a great album. You can YouTube it, it'll probably be there. So putting on my favorite textured paper to add some more layers to my collage, looking pretty good you can't really go too wrong with black and white I mean how can you get it wrong you don't have any colors that are going to clash so you know <laughs> it's all just a matter of shape and texture you really can't get it too wrong <laughs> I love the dramatic contrast of black and white that really works for me because I do like dramatic contrast I'm not great for subtleties, but really that's how I am with my personality. So, you know, we are who we are. Going to add a little bit of my beautiful Agura lace up here in the corner. And I'm not too sure where next I'm going to head with this. I feel like I want to put something else special on it. So we'll have to have a little think about that. Maybe we'll pull out some glass beads. That'd be fun. I haven't used glass beads for years. Seeing as we're, you know, inspired by an album from, what's that, 19 years ago? <laughs> Maybe we'll pull out some glass beads, baby. Blast from the past. That's pretty fun. We could put some right over the Agura lace. That'd look nice. I don't really want to add too much of this because then it would just become all too black. And you know, we don't want it all to be covered because I really like my rice papers. So I'm just going to add a little bit of the Agura lace to connect some of the shapes together. You can see through it so you can see the glorious rice paper underneath. And I really like these fibers. Oh, did I mention, I love these fibers. <laughs> Tiny weeny bit more. Takapuna Art Supplies. I just got a fresh batch of the Agura Lace. Oh man, and it makes me so happy. I'm thinking maybe a piece right there. Okay. Maybe one more piece of my beautiful text right here. That could look good. Of course, I could add some actual notes into the piece. That would look really cool. And previous collages, I definitely have added notes in, but I think my page is too yellow and too old compared to the strong black and the white there. So I don't think I will, but it is always really cool to add actual notes from music pages in when it suits your composition. Well, maybe I'll just add a couple more pieces of the rice paper because that looks really cool and I really do like the multiple layers of collage I just think it looks more interesting so we'll just add a couple more of these pieces that have been torn up from the rice papers that's a nice little piece I like that and you can always change it if you put something on and it's not working for you, just pull it off again or change it or add something else. That's the beauty of collage. You can just keep working on it until you're really happy with your composition and with your layers. It definitely doesn't have to stay the same way when you start. You can change it, add paint to it, add more layers of paper to it. Ah, oh, man, I love mixed media collage. Pretty sure it's my favorite because it combines everything. <laughs> it isn't just one thing. It really does involve a lot and can include acrylic paintings, textured papers, inks, sprays. You know, there isn't too much that I don't throw on my mixed media collages. Right. That's looking good. Loving my cello and my music notes down there. I love that I can see quite a few of my black and white piano keys and I'm pretty happy with how we're looking. So the question is, do I want to add some of that scribbly notation to the top or do I want to add some glass beads? Okay, so the paper is mostly dry. You do need to have your paper mostly dry 
before you try putting on a stencil. Otherwise, when you pull your stencil off, you're going to pull your paper off. I know, I've done it. <laughs> now, I am going to use the glass beads. This is a Liquitex product called Glass Beads. It's an effects product, acrylic, water-based. Gives a high, glossy, bubbly texture, non-yellowing. That's good. You can use it on its own or mixed with colour. I like it on its own. I like it clear because it just looks pretty. Now, it's called glass beads. I don't know if it actually is glass. Highly unlikely, right? <laughs> but I don't think acrylic beads is going to sound as good. <laughs> it hasn't got the same ring to it. <laughs> right, so I've pulled out a stencil. This is a crafter's workshop stencil of music notes. Look at that. They look fabulous. Not as quite as flowy as my beautiful drip style ones that I did last time. Oh, man, I love that. But I'm figuring because of all my fabulous flowy text right down the middle there, that's quite a strong focal point that I think the glass beads on one of these stencils would look really good because it would be a contrast to those flowy lines. And I'm going to put it on some of the painting, but not probably all of it. And you won't be able to tell until it's actually dry. Ooh, nice and crunchy. Um, how awesome it's going to look, because it will look awesome when it's dry, especially on the black. I definitely want to put the glass beads on any of the black. Beautiful Agoura lace, because they're going to shine more and look amazing. I'll put some on this text as well. The thing is, the glass beads are going to dry completely clear. So it really doesn't matter how much of them I put on because they're not going to change the colour or cause any dramatic clash to the composition because they will be lovely and clear. Oh man, I haven't used glass beads for so long. <laughs> I don't know why, man. I don't know why. Let's put it on this beautiful Agoura lace there and maybe just some more to the edge at the bottom here. And I think that should look pretty cool. Righto, that should be good. Pretty excited about that. Now, remember, when it dries, it will dry beautiful, nice and clear. All that white will be clear, so I'll give you a close-up when it's dried, and I think it's going to look pretty darn beautiful. So what do you think about my beautiful mixed-media painting? Isn't it just glorious? Look how great the glass beads dried. I love the way they're so clear and they're so textured, and it just creates another element to the artwork without contributing any more colour. I think they're absolutely fascinating. They look really pretty and I just love the texture that sits on top of all the other papers. Thanks for joining me today. I love this collage. It was so much fun. Now don't forget, I've put a playlist together so you can find all of the episodes to 100 Days of Collage and in the description under the video you'll find links and discount codes. <laughs> so have a look there. Now if you want to join me live in the studio, <laughs> hang out, chat, talk about art, life, make collage, then come and join me on Patreon, where on Friday mornings, 10 a.m. New Zealand time, I'm not sure what that is for you, but 10 a.m. my time, I'm live in the studio and we have a Zoom meeting. It's a whole lot of fun. So have a look at that on Patreon, live in the studio, Fridays, 10 a.m. Yay! Hope to see you there.